How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome back to more glazed. And then the, yeah. And then there's poor bouncy boy. That man. Sorry, we were talking about uh, hair. We were talking about hair and hairlines before the stream started. And somebody. But no, here we are with Pokemon Glazed. Back in it. Gonna go over the team. I do this at the beginning of every session. Just kind of recap. Rafiki. Oh yeah, we'll go down the line. Rafiki, fucking god, level 80. Spore, flamethrower, earthquake. Right, Raichu, fucking god. Probably gonna change that headbutt for strength because strength is just a better move than headbutt. I'm pretty sure. Uh. I don't know if Headbutt can make him flinch, but that would be the only advantage I can think of. Dragonite. Leaf Blade's kind of iffy. That's the only kind Well, and Brick Break are kind of iffy, but Outrage and Fly, fucking amazing on him. They do so much damage. His attack stat is so huge. Where is it, actually? Yeah, 258. Oh, my God. Get out of here. I actually kind of want to go down the stat line. Raichu with special attack at 207. Rafiki. Look at that attack and special attack. My God. Yeah, you couldn't ask for anything. Like, that's, that's insane. He's so... Yeah. Darkrai, special attack god. Does not get a dark move in this game that goes off special, which sucks ass. But, I mean, he's alright. The only thing is he's got a huge fighting weakness, and he's the only guy I have on the team that actually can deal with fighting straight up. Besides Dragonite, who can fly, I guess, but... Nido King, fucking beast. Fucking beast. Look at that. Decently balanced. I mean, he's not super balanced, but he's not... He can still use special attacking moves and be fine, which is great. That's why we got the Surf and Ice Beam on there, which, uh, there's a guy I can talk to to give him Ice Punch back. I think I had to switch Ice Beam out for some stupid reason last time, but. Oh my god, I still have fucking Dive on the squad. Shit! Get out of my inventory! Get out of here, Dive! How did I not get rid of you? Okay. Oh, I was in the middle of moving Pokemon around last time, too. Where is... There we go, alright. Like I've said before, actually, MVP, probably. Like, behind Rafiki, who's the fucking goat, and the only one who's been with us actually since day one. Uh, Gyarados. That attack stat is gross. 267 on the attack stat and Dragon Dance is just awful. It's just awful. Plus, we got Thrash, kind of there for coverage when they resist water type moves. Uh, bounce and Waterfall. You could not, you almost couldn't ask for a better moveset. Like, maybe a replacement for Thrash, but not really. You know what I mean? That is... Gyarados is a monster. Honestly, you need an Electric-type move for Nido King. I didn't put an Electric-type move on Nido King initially because we still had Jirachi for the longest time. We just got Freddy K, like, before the Johto Pokemon League or something like that. We hadn't had Freddy K too terribly long at the time that we had MLK out. And I didn't put an Electric-type move on him because there's an Electric-type move on Thundershot, and there was also one on Rachi. I could put one on him now, but I like him having Surf and Ice Beam. I don't know. Plus, like, Thunder Punch, what would I put on him? You know what I mean? I could give him Thunder or something like that. His special attacks, that's not awful, but I'm okay with the team the way it is. Because water doesn't... I mean, you know, worst case, like, for water, I still have Gyarados, and I still have John Cena. And yeah, they're not super effective against it, but they can take a fucking water hit. Gyarados is going to beat, like, any water Pokemon he comes up against for the most part. Uh, same thing with John Cena. He's going to resist water just fine, unless they have Ice Beam or something, but... I've been in these houses? They rent some of these houses out to sailors on shore leave, but I sure can't wait to get back on the boat. <laughs> he hates it here. Wow, what a horrible life. Uh, and then what do we have over here? I think I've talked to these guys before. I'll go out fishing in a second, I promise. And I'll land an enormous magic carp. All right, you do that. My good for nothing husband won't go out and fish, so we have nothing to eat. Do you have a magic carp? I'd be willing to give you a slow poke for it. Wow. No. <laughs> All right, so what were we doing last time? As you guys know, we beat in the game. If you guys haven't seen those parts, go back. We beat in the game. We took on Soul, who was the Rancor leader. And Soul, that battle was so awesome. I had so much fun doing that battle. That battle was super epic. Uh, but over here, on the flip side, after that battle, we weren't actually done yet. Because there's a bunch of legendaries that we still had left to catch. We got a lot of them done last time, but there's still a few left we got to get done here. There's one more special event, one more big-ass battle I want to take on, and then we got to finish catching all the legendaries, and then I'm going to call it a day on Pokemon Glaze, people. Uh, we're not quite done yet, but it has been a fantastic playthrough so far. So, I don't know if I have the correct uh, plumes or whatever. I think I do, but... 
The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at getting three legendary birds. We got Lugia last time, but we have not got the three legendary birds since, uh... Since they've officially been released, as you guys know how the story went. The legendary birds were all captured or whatever, and... By fucking Pius and Regina, who then fell in love, and Henry was there, and it, it was weird. You just gotta watch it. It was so weird. It was so weird. Uh, but they ended up getting released uh, back out in the wild, and I think we can go catch them now if we want to. Which just kind of shits on everything we did, right? Didn't we just go, like, way out of our way to stop Pius and Regina from catching the legendary birds because that upset the balance of the goddamn universe? And now we finally got him back out there. We're like, oh, we're going to go catch him anyway, though. Fuck those guys. We just wanted them for ourselves. That's the way that I, you know, that's the way I want to think about it. Now, I'm going to have to remember what, I'm assuming this one had Moltres on it. I'm going to have to remember what island had what Pokemon on it. It's the only issue I'm really having here. But I believe because this island's so damn hot, this is the one with Moltres. And then Articuno and Zapdos. And then we're probably done with the Rancor region. Like, done done with the Rancor region. Well, maybe not. I take that back. If you guys hear Trollbird in the background in chat, uh, please let me know. So I can uh, promptly shut him the hell up because he's interrupting our Glaze playthrough. I have caught every legendary Pokemon. Hey, here we go. All right, first Pokemon up. All right, cool. I've caught every legendary Pokemon I've ran into so far. Plan is to catch all of them. Uh, mainly because Pius and his shitty Church of Arceus and all this shit, or Church of Alpha under Arceus' will and all this shit, was super annoying. And on top of that, he hates the idea of catching legendary. So just to piss off Pius, who probably won't even know, but... I'm catching them all. Fuck you, Pius. Hark! You have obtained a fire plume! Excellent work, young one! I shall promise you one battle, as per our deal! Oh, God! I don't know why he got that voice, but I'm happy. I'm happy that's the one he got. Please tell me Rafiki's leading. Okay, cool. So... Level 80? Hot damn! I can flamethrower him, he'll probably live, that one's kind of iffy. I can focus punch him, he might live, because he resists focus punch and flamethrower, and we're the same level, so... Okay, good, good, this is actually really good. The less damage it does, the better, because that means the more I can kind of, uh... Alright, too much. Got it! I doubt a focus, a focus punch would do more. Earthquake won't hit him at all. So I'm going to spore again until he... All right, he's safeguarded. Now we just have to keep sporing until safeguard goes away. Ow, fucking heat wave. Okay, and the reason I had to do that is because now i got to switch out to another Pokemon uh, who can hurt him even less somehow. So who do I have on the team that wouldn't kill him is the issue. Thundershat's headbutt, maybe? Maybe? Okay. Oh, he used Endure! Well, you lovable little dick, you! He used Endure! Thank you, man! And Heat Wave will kill me. Alright, we're gonna pretend that he's not gonna use Heat Wave. Okay, that Heat Wave is coming no matter what. I think Heat Wave Endure is the combo, to be real. So we might have to try this instead. We're just gonna paralyze him and hope, that, hope for the best here. Hope you guys are ready, because here we go. <sighs> Every time, people. Fuck! Alright. Was it this one? I think it was this one. Every time, people. Every fucking time. First try. Always. I think, we, I think we've got some kind of record at this point, guys. Most consecutive first try catches of legendary Pokemon. While Twitch chat thinks of a name for Moltres, I'm gonna read his, uh, I'm gonna read his little bio here. 
Moltres is a legendary bird Pokemon that can control fire. If injured, it is said to dip its body in the molten magma of a volcano to burn and heal itself. That's badass. Ow! And then he just flies into lava. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's not badass the way I explained it, but the way, you know what I mean. Fuck off, Mole 3. Makes me think of somebody's, like, third mole. Ah, my third mole. Fox, Harry Potter, Phoenix, let's kind of go together, yeah, I kind of... Are you fucking kidding me? I can't fucking believe this ant. This fu Are you kidding me with this shit? I'm not in control of my own life anymore. You can put some fail fishes in chat for that one if you want to, because my god did I face palm. Holy shit. I can fly out of here, I think. Alright, one down, boys. One down. Yeah, mixtape for fire Pokemon is way too. That's a that's a way too drawn out joke at this point. All right, Articuno or Zapdos, either or. I don't remember what island Zapdos is on. Oh, he's on the one with the poison, because uh, or the poison gym leader, because the poison gym leader's name was Thor for some reason. Uh, we're gonna go to Nitro. I fucked up. Funny thing, I fucked up. Obviously, you guys have probably pointed out in the video comments by now, but I fucked up. I kept calling it Nitro because I think the all caps threw me off on that one, but on the on the first time I passed the Rancor, I kept calling it Nitro for a while. But I called it Nitro instead of Nitro for like 40 minutes plus even. And Twitch chat, it took Twitch chat 40 minutes to realize I was saying it wrong and correct me on it. I don't know if they were reading it wrong too or what. I'm, I'm probably just using it as a vice to make myself feel better, but... Yeah, I felt less bad about it when I was in editing because I was like, were they corrected me the whole time and I just never saw it? And I kept looking and no, nobody fucking corrected me on the whole Nitro thing until Guru said something after like 40 minutes. I was telling you, you said it wrong. Yeah, until Guru said something in like 40 minutes after I'd been doing that for fucking ever. So I didn't feel bad because, I mean, you know, the 300 people, 300-ish people we had in here also didn't fucking... Catch it. Oh, there was a whole lot of shit talked about it once somebody finally realized I was saying it wrong. There was a whole lot of shit talked about it, but only after the 40 minutes of people not giving a shit that I was saying it wrong. But yeah. I'm chalking it up to the uh, the all caps. Seeing it in all caps together like that threw me off, man. It just would have been a capital N than the rest, but it's it, the Pokemon font. It'll get you. I don't even know if I'm running the right direction anymore. Is this it? Up seems like the way to go. It's Zapdos, bro! I say Zapdos, bro, because in the story he kept calling Henry bro. He called Henry bro like 50 times. And everybody's like, I'm gonna capture you, Zapdos, okay? I gotta use you to help this fight help fight this battle against my mom. And Zapdos is like, Well, I really wouldn't wanna and then Henry's like, Master Ball, go! And it was just, it was super funny, but For show! Sure. That's a bona fide thunder plume! I knew you could do it, dude! Alright. Ready for a battle? Let go! I like Zapdos' attitude. Zap. What's up, Saturn? How you doing, man? He's level 80, so he might be able to live. Wow, he protected himself. 
I'm sure he can take a focus punch or two, but I'm not, uh, I don't know how much a flamethrower would do. We're going to test that out. Okay, flamethrower actually did a really good amount. All right, hope you guys are ready. I didn't save before I threw that ball. Son of a bitch. That's okay, I don't need to, fuck! Okay, now here we go. Oh, it's going to be a long goddamn day. And by that, I mean first try. That's what I mean by a long goddamn day. I mean first try. Zapdos is a legendary bird Pokemon that has the ability to control electricity. It usually lives in thunder clouds. It gains power if it's struck by lightning bolts. Thor's a stupid name. Zap, bro, I'm kind of leaning towards that, but it's just... Fosho. I like... Alright, we'll go with Fosho, because he hit us with that one before we captured him and ruined his life. Fo. Motherfucking... Oh, shit. Motherfucking... Fosho. All right, then we get out of here. It's going swimmingly so far. It's going real smooth. Just murdering the three legendary birds, you know? Get the fuck out of you fucking bitch-ass dickhead. I'm trying to walk. He, like, he like sidestepped me like the last possible second. All right, now we got to go to the cold one. I believe the cold island is Kolo. Get the hell out of my way, you stupid hat-wearing bitch-ass kids! Ah. Yeah. These Pokemon are like, you are a strong- I fuck out all these Pokemon. It's, it's not just the legendary birds, but some of the other ones have been like, I can tell you were one of the strongest trainers in the land, and you have earned the right to battle me. If you were going to attempt to catch to catch me, prove your worth and do so now. Oh, son of a bitch. There's got to be another way to enter that, or it's just not possible. Anyway. Uh... So yeah, I prove my worth, and then I, I go out, like, way out of my way to fucking catch these guys. And like, at least I am caught by a powerful trainer who will use me properly and like that. You gotta, you know, that's what they gotta be thinking. I'm like, nope, we're gonna throw you in the box forever. Shit! I played that like garbage. Lava cookie! How you doing? I had a feeling you would find an ice plume, so you're here for a battle with me, correct? And I suppose there's no point in standing here? Let's get this over with. He knows it's coming! He knows it's coming! I like that Articuno sprite. No doubt in my mind, Flamethrower would kill. We're just going to go for some focus punches. Actually, that will be neutral, so that should... Okay. Could be worse, could be worse. All right, we're going to see if a Thundershot headbutt... Oh, especially with Reflect Up. That's actually a good thing. Yes! Headbutt can make him flinch, by the way, because Articuno just flinched twice. All right. And now we hit him with the young Bill Cosby. And here we go. hope you guys are ready. For once a motherfucking gen. Just throw it out. He's in the ball. And son of a bitch.
And there we go. And the first try. The first try. It's just that simple, people. Articuno is a legendary bird Pokemon that can control ice. The fapping of its wings. That was <laughs> so dumb. Uh, chills the air. As a result, it's said that when Pokemon this Pokemon flies, snow will fall. I hope snow falls. We're supposed to get a blizzard soon, actually. Uno day try. Ice chicken sounds awful. Did somebody type in ice to meet you? I already named a Pokemon Frozen, I'm pretty sure. There's Drakazora said an ice to meet you. There it is. I was like, has anybody said ice to meet you yet? Fappy Bird? I kind of like that one. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that one. Aw, oh, son of a bitch, Dragon Fighter. I'm going to stick with Fappy Bird. I like that one, though. Fappy Bird. So that way we can all remember that game that was out that everybody thought was good for that mobile game for like a week until the dude who made it took it down. And there we go. Three legendary bird Pokemon. Fucking done. Remember we got Ho-Oh and Lugia last stream. So those are out of the way. Uh, going down my list here, we've caught Mewtwo and Mew. Uh, Suicune, uh, Raikou, and Entei we got last time. Avi, Lugia, and Ho-Oh. I just talked about that. We got Celebi. We got all the Regis. We had Latios for a while. We caught Latios last stream. Uh, Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza have to be saved for 4th, 3rd, and 2nd to last for reasons that you guys will see as we go on. Please nobody spoil that in chat if you know, by the way. Just because I would rather the people see it for themselves the first time. As it happens, we got Deoxys last time. It's going in order of generations, by the way. All right. Uh, Uxie, Azelf, and Mesprit is next. And I'm, I'm reading up on it right now, sorry. I have to go back to the place where Regina and Pius's battle unfolded. So I believe that was at the top of Alpha Isle or whatever it was, right? And I was up there already. And I they, they said that it's something I have to interact with the white stone. But I already interacted with the white stone and all it said was it's a right it's a white rock. So I'm not sure about that one to be honest. I like the music here. Oh, I'm gonna need to buy more. I need more Ultra Balls, but I also need more... Max Repels. And then there were three. But I guess if I go back and look at this white stone, it might have different stuff written on it this time, so that'll be good. Yeah, the titanium white stone. Your resub wasn't soon. Have you clicked share? And if you did click share, did it show up in chat? And if it didn't show up in chat, it's Twitch. And if it did show up in chat, I'm sorry I missed it. But then my Twitch alerts is broken. But that's that's one of the problems. Anyways, if Susanna resub, we get some Coke cans in chat for Susanna for the resub. I don't know how many months it is. But thank you for the resub once again, Susano. Means a lot, bud. Alright, this is the stone. The thin engravings in the stone. Akumin, Virtue, and Viridium. Press your hand against one of the words. Hell fucking yeah! Thunder pressed his hand to the stone. That's Jigglypuff. I just heard that. I just heard Jigglypuff song. It was, it was like a mild Jigglypuff singing in the background, but the music kept playing, which is dumb. The music should cut there, so we can hear Jigglypuff better. But, huh? Well, son of a bitch! Uxie's the only one of these I ever used. I used to use Uxie in competitive battle, but I never messed with the other two. I never fucked with the other two that much. I used to use Uxie all the time. 